willing to go. And Ware said he did that, but he doesn't believe it. From Nelson. By the way, we mentioned the fact that the clash of heads opened up a cut. You see him pawing. And it looks like there's now a second cut that actually is on the eye. The cut to the outside, the more innocuous. There's a good right hand from Nelson as now he ramps things up, seeing his own blood of Bailson here in the first half of this sixth round. And there's a left hand that sends him back. Wobbly legs for where? Wobbly legs circling on the outside. Gets sent back. Here comes Steven Nelson. Trying to finish things, and that'll do it. TKO victory, Steven Nelson. And maybe that second cut brought out the best in him. You're still bleeding, Steven. This is the first time as a pro you were cut. The first cut, it looked like you were okay. And then once the second cut came, what was it that lit you up? Man, when that second cut come, I'm like, man, I know how fighters are. When they see an injury, they attack it. So I say, you know what? I got to get to work. My plan was to go in there, fill them out, don't rush it too much. So that's why the first couple rounds I was filling it out, weren't doing too much, and then pick it up. So the headbutt was perfect timing for me to pick it up. You know, you said you wanted to show more tools. You got the, a chance to show some resiliency yeah. due to the cuts. What else did you show tonight? Um, honestly, it was resiliency because in the back, I didn't feel too good coming come into the fight. But I said, you know what, man, like, no matter what, you got to push through it. You know, being, being deployed and being through the stuff I've been through in life, you always got to push. And I've always been a workhorse, and i always worked hard, no matter what. Explain what you mean when you say you didn't feel well. Is it some days you feel flat on your feet? I don't know if it's because usually when I fight, I take a long walk. Me and Terrence take a long walk around Vegas. But we're quarantined, so can't do too much walking up and down the hallways versus sightseeing all around Vegas. So I think it's my legs or something, but I pushed through it though. I got the win, I got the stoppage, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. That's all they see on the record is a win. That's your 14th knockout now as a pro. How close do you feel to a world title opportunity right now? Um, I feel like I'm ready for a title eliminator and go for a title because that was my whole plan, to set myself up where they can't deny me a world title. Like, who is this guy? What has he done? But now I have the NABO belt. I'm winning, winning by knockouts. I'm showing different adversity in there, in, in there so I'm ready. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Joe, back to you. Steven Nelson saying, you know, the typical MO of a fight day is Steven Nelson who earns himself the TKO win.